what the city would be. Politicians no longer having corporate ties pull an office and making decisions based on their business. The richest people in the country have all the power and uh, and they're just such a small minority of the of the people in the country that, you know, just trying to have our voices heard. Well, I'm here because there's a lot of problems in the country. And one of them is probably, you know, a lot of the problems with wars, but also a lot of problems with monetary policy in this country, such as the Federal Reserve and how the banks are dumping all the toxic assets and debts onto the uh, bottom part of the population on them. So they're socializing their own thoughts while capitalizing on their gains. I am here to represent the 99% of people that are either unemployed, underemployed, reached their poverty level, um, have lost too much. I'm here uh, to uh, demand the bailout back. Uh, the bailout was given to banks. They then merged to um, enlarge their, their wealth and their greed. And it was our money. It was our taxpayer money. We're taking back our futures that have been taken from us by a different generation, by a different group of people that does not represent who we are. Um, so basically, we're here to make our voices be heard. We're coming together as a mass group to make our voices louder. All across the country, we're joining in solidarity to, again, take back our futures, take back our financial stability that, not by our choice, has been taken from us. Not by any fault of our own. Because we live in one of the most richest countries in the world, yet people are homeless and they, they go to sleep hungry. You have to pay for your college education. If you get sick, you have to pay for that. If you have a child, you have to pay for that. Um, Pretty much the fact that 40, top 400 people are more wealth than the bottom 100 million together should set off alarms. I don't speak for everybody, you should ask lots more people, but I'm here because 99% of the people have 50% of the wealth. The 1% of people who have the other 50% aren't doing anything to make the world a better place. I'm here trying to change the system completely, not reform the system, the system cannot be reformed. Um.